Lee Sol campaigners argue that there are close to 100,000 people affected by terms that leave them with a ground rent in excess of 0.1% of the property value. I would argue that such circumstances are onerous. The result is an unsaleable property, and in many cases, the developer is long gone, having sold the freehold onto a distant investment company. They have, of course, made their money twice, not only from selling the leaseholds in the first place, but by selling on the freehold. Ground rents can, of course, be peppercorn or set at a reasonable rate, and the MHCLG report shows that the marketplace is mixed. But I think it's important to clarify that ground rates have nothing to do with the maintenance of a building. They are simply an income for the freeholder. As the Minister for Housing and Homelessness, the Honourable Member for South Derbyshire, who I'm delighted to see in her place, told the MHCLG Select Committee, one of the things I do find utterly fascinating is that a building might be beautifully maintained at a peppercorn ground rent or poorly maintained at £500 ground rent. The amount of ground rent payable is no indication of the quality of the maintenance and services provided.